Hey guys, for today's video, we're going to be talking about lip liners. And, okay, if you've been watching me for a while, I'm sure you're like, bitch, you don't even hardly use lip liner. But, I don't know what it is. I've really fallen in love with lip liner. New year, new me. Okay, I know it's mid-year, but... You get what I'm saying. If you've been watching me for any length of time, I just kind of started using lip liners. Okay, I've always used lip liners, but very sparingly, but I've really dived into them and explored a lot of new ones and tried a bunch of different ones and buying them and just started looking for the perfect lip liner. Probably like last year was when I really expanded my collection. And I know I have a lot of videos about like my favorite blushes, my favorite palettes, my favorite this, that, lip products, but I've never talked about lip liners and I'm like really into them lately so let's get into it I have a good handful to talk about and every single one of them is at the drugstore baby except for one the first one I'll talk about is the most expensive one and this is the only high-end lip liner I think that I even own um, and this is Mac half red prepare for the tiniest lip liner of all time I already have a backup of this but this is like a 20 something dollar lip liner so I'm gonna finish it off okay judge me but I like to give my money's worth out of things. So, MAC lip liners are really, really great. I feel like when I'm looking for a lip liner, I'm always looking for one that's very similar in formula to the MAC ones. And I love MAC lip liners. I just don't have it in me to spend, I think they're like 20, they're like $22, maybe 24. I just, for whatever reason, can't bring myself to spend that much money on something that is not a staple for me. I mean, this color is a staple, but it's just lip liner is not something that I use every single time I do my makeup. It's something if I want to look extra special or if I'm going for a certain lip combo that I love, but it's not something that I use in my day-to-day -day routine, which is why I can't bring myself to spend a shit ton of money on it. It's like a purple berry-ish tone lip liner, and this shade is perfection for if you're going for more of like a mauve lip. Actually, one of my favorite lip combos of all time that I've shared with you guys so many times before is MAC Half Red, Kat Von D Lolita, and MAC Blankety Lipstick. And it's just the most beautiful like in between, like if you don't want to go nude but you don't want to go like pink purple, it's like that perfect in between combo and the lip liner makes it. I've tried that combination without Half Red and I just feel like I have to have it. I mean, obviously you don't have to have this lip liner but the combination is just not the same without this. I'm like really into my nudes, but when I'm going for like anything remotely berry-ish or like pinky, rosy-ish, those types of tones, I always reach for this. And I never hear people talk about half red. I know a lot of people talk about cork and I don't even know the names of the other ones, but that is my all-time favorite lip liner from MAC. Thank you, Jesus, for that lip liner. Let's move in to drugstore. So the first one I have from the drugstore is this one from Essence, and this is the Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner. I did a whole Essence video, and I discovered this in that video, and at the time, I was on the hunt for like a brownish lip liner. This is a little more of like a red tone, like a vampy lip. You're gonna see throughout this whole video that I'm gonna compare a lot of these to MAC, and the reason I'm doing that is because I love more of like a stiff lip liner formula versus creamy. I don't like creamy lip liners. I very seldom use them. I like something a little more waxy or a little more like like something that's not too glidey, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You'll be hearing me reference a lot of these back to the MAC formula because that's my favorite type of formula. Um, I just don't like the price of the MAC lip liner, but I love the formula. So again, this reminds me of the formula of MAC where it's a little bit more stiff. I also prefer a pencil lip liner like this that you can sharpen um, because you guys know I freelance, I'm a makeup artist. It's so much easier sanitation wise. Um, I can just sharpen this and I don't have to worry about it um, like a traditional like twist up lip liner. Those aren't as sanitary. So usually when I'm looking for lip liners, I like ones like this that I can just sharpen and then, you know, sanitize the way that I sanitize. But I love this color for when I'm doing a vampy lip. And I don't do vampy lips too often, but um, I like this for when I do on occasion use that. This is my go-to. So I don't know if I mentioned the name. I think I did Deeply Intoxicating. Really nice color if you're doing even like a dark purple. Um, I've done this with a dark purple with a dark like berry tone, um, maroon, anything of that like color family. The slip liner is great. Um, all of these are long lasting. I'm not gonna say that for every single brand. They're all really great long lasting lip liners, but I love the tone of this one and I love the formula of it and its essence. I wanna say this is like two something, maybe $3. Really affordable, awesome, 
awesome lip liner. This next one is from LA Girl. This is the ultimate um, intense day auto lip liner and keep it spicy. And I mentioned this in my lip combo video. I love this formula. It's almost like a matte lip liner, so it's like as if you were to take a matte lipstick. Like, the formula reminds me so much of the ColourPop lippy sticks, like the original ColourPop lip products, if you guys have used those. I feel like ever since they came out with their glosses, liquid lips, satin lips, nobody talks about the lippy sticks, but this reminds me of that, but it is a retractable formula. So this is not something I would use in my kit. This is just my own personal one, because again, for sanitary reasons, it's easier for me to use a traditional uh, lip liner formula, but this color is beautiful. It's this one right here, but I like this for if I'm doing any kind of like a maybe pink tone nude, um, like a little bit of a lighter pinky color. This is a beautiful like light pinky, almost cool tone nude. So like one of my favorite liquid lips from the Sephora collection line is the Sephora Lip Cream in number 33. I also showed this in my um, lip combo video. I love to use this with that because they just complement each other so well. Also, I love how the formula is so smooth. It's so like, it's kind of matte, but it's so creamy. Like it just glides on, but it doesn't budge. I love this color. This is like my go-to for anything, any type of pink tone, nude, anything like that. Anything with a hint of pink. I always, always, almost always use this. I don't want to say always, but almost always. Um, I reach for this one. You know I love this because I accidentally bought another one by mistake, and I didn't mean to. Um, I thought I was buying a different color and I saw this in stores I didn't realize that I had the same color and I bought it again and then when I got home I was like well shit that's how you know I really love something this is a great one so I have another one from LA girl this is the shade uh, I think it's called yeah sugar and spice but this is more of a pencil one this isn't one I reach for a ton just because it's a little bit more of like a traditional pink now they look very very similar this one right here is keep it spicy and then this one is sugar and spice I don't reach for sugar and spice as much and you can see they're pretty similar in tone I would say this one's just a little bit lighter maybe a little more traditional pink whereas this one is almost a little bit more on the cool tone side but I wanted to mention this one for people who are freelancers um, because because I know a lot of people found my freelance videos. I just wanted to share this for those um, guys or girls who are freelancing. This is also a really nice formula. It's very similar as well, where it's almost a little bit more on the like matte-ish side, but still that same kind of family. And awesome, awesome if you're a freelance artist and it's affordable too. So I wanted to throw that one in there. I don't use it so much on myself, um, but I do keep it in my kit. Last brand that I have are a ton of different colors from NYX. NYX, I would say, is probably one of my favorite lip liner brands. The suede matte lip liners, you guys already know, because I always talk about cold brew. So I'll go ahead and just start with that one. And this is like my go-to lip liner because the majority of the time, oh, first of all, I'm almost always wearing a new Nude. It's more than likely a more brown tone nude and when I do brown tone nudes I love this lip liner because it is the like dark brown lip liner that I just needed to add definition to my lips that I never knew that I needed. This is um it right here definitely more of like a darker brown if you want to see a little bit of a darker lip liner go in with a matte nude liquid lipstick and then a gloss on top but you still want to see that definition this is the one that i always 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 use this is like the end all be all for me i think it's affordable i can pick it up at ulta or the drugstore or whatever and it works and it's that perfect brown that i need and this is it so it's the suede matte lip liner they have an original formula, which I'll talk about a couple here, but the suede matte lip liner is my favorite. Same type of formula, again, is MAC, where it's a little bit more on the stiffer, waxier side. Um, definitely more on the matte side. The formula is great, like I love the formula as well, but what got it for me is the color. Because I wear browns more than anything, even if I'm doing a nude, it's almost always a brown tone nude. And when I do wanna do a lip liner, if I wanna look a little extra special, or I really wanted to find the lips, I almost always reach for this. This is another suede matte lip liner from NYX. This is in the shade London. Now this is a very, very, very light nude. It's a little bit on the peachy side. Um, looking at it next to the other two, the other two are definitely more pink, but this has more 
peach in it than anything. Very, very light. You can see the difference between this one and cold brew. This one is perfect for very, very fair skin people who um, can't really go in with super dark lip liners. Either it doesn't work for their skin tone or if you just don't like that definition, you just want like a nice neutral color that's not too warm, not too cool, but also will work with a nude. Like you just want like a quick one and done type of situation. This is great. This is also what I use on my clients that I get that are very fair, who it just like a darker lip liner. Even something like this, like they like the LA Girl ones are just a little too pink or they're a little too much for like my more fair skin clients. I use, um, I forgot what this is called, <laughs> London. I have so many different ones that I forget what they're called. This along with Sandstorm. I'll go ahead and show you this one next. This is another one that's great for those lighter complexions, but also really, really nice for um, if you just, again, want a quick one and done type of look. You're doing just like a basic nude lip. This would be good for something like I have on today as well, where you just, you just like to line your lips. Like I don't use these on the regular. I use these more on other people than on myself. It's also very nice where if you're just like, okay, let me just slap something on. I just need a little bit of something to help keep my liquid lip in, my gloss in, whatever. These two are perfect. This one is Sandstorm. And then this one is London right here. So again, both more like pinky tone nudes. This one's a little more on the peachier side. And then this one's a little more of that like coolish tone pink. But really great to just go with your basic nude. If you're a lip liner person and you just need a nude lip liner, these ones are perfect. Okay, the last suede matte lip liner that I have is a red one. And this is what I always use anytime I'm using any type of red, whether it be a blue tone red, a cool tone red, um, an orangey red, any type of like bold red lip that I'm doing, I always use this one. And this one is in the shade Spicy. This is another one I like to keep in my kit because it's kind of just like a good, like all around red tone lip color. I love this color. This is like my go-to red red lip liner. Even though it's a brighter tone red, you can really make it work for a lot of red tone lips. I would say I probably wouldn't use it if I'm going more like vampy red, but I'm telling you like a classic red, um, a bright red, an orangey red. This is what I always use and I've never had an issue with it. And it's just like the formula works so well with so many different things that this is just such a staple for me in my collection. I don't do a ton of lip liner all the time. It's not like a staple in my routine but when I do a red lip I always feel like I need to do a lip liner you know red lips can get messy sometimes you just need the guidance from a lip liner every single time I do a red lip I always do a lip liner no matter what I've tried so many different red lip liners and either they're too slippery they move they're too glidey they smudge I can't have that when I'm doing a red lip especially when I'm doing one on somebody else yeah you can pick up any red lip liner but you need one that's gonna stay in place and I love the color, but what keeps me using this lip liner over and over is the formula. We're gonna move on to another NYX lip liner, but this is just their regular lip liner. So this is not as like budge proof as those. I will say those are more budge proof, but they're still pretty good. They're a little bit more on, I don't wanna say slippery side, but they're, they move a little bit more than the suede matte lip liners do, but they're so, I love them though. I still love them nonetheless. This along with the next one is one of the two that I just I'm constantly going through them. I always stock up every time I order on Ulta. Every time they're on sale I always pick up these two colors because I go through them the most in my kit. So this one is in the shade ever. It's this one right here and this one for me is just a go-to. Anytime I'm working on somebody with medium skin, somebody with a little bit of deeper skin, somebody with lighter skin who likes more of that definition type of look. It works for so many different skin tones. It works so well with so many different nudes. Like it works with a very light nude, a darker nude, a more brown tone nude, a more pink tone nude. I don't know how many of these that I've gone through. I love this lip liner. I will continually stock it in my kit forever. I think the reason that this is called Ever is because People just need to use it forever. It's so good. This next one is the shade Natural, and it's almost along the same lines as ever, but this one just has a pinch 
more pink in it where if you look at ever this one is a little more maybe berry toned so this one is kind of along the same lines just a really like perfect go-to for a lot of different nude lips which is why I say these are like my go-to lip liners the majority of my clients I'm doing event makeup it's either a bride a trial for a bridal, a birthday party, a 15, a sweet 16, prom, stuff like that. I would say 98% of my clients want a nude lip and these are my go-to lip liners for a nude lip when it comes to my clients. So I like natural because it's a little bit on the lighter side, more pinky nude and then ever is a little more berry nude. I do natural for a lot of like lighter complected people and then usually if it's somebody who's like medium or like deeper, I'll go in with ever but you can also use ever on lighter skin tones if they like that more defined look but these are just like my go-to for nude lips for my clients I love these two colors they look great on a lot of different people formula is awesome and they're freaking affordable can you complain no okay, this last one that I have is the shade nutmeg this is actually what I have on today and I used it very very lightly because it is a little more deep now this is a like a more brownie tone I would say still kind of like in the nude-ish family like you can definitely do it with a nude lip I have a little bit more of like a pinky nude going on today but this is gonna be better suited for like maybe medium to more deep skin tones and this is so pretty see this is right up my alley as well because again here's cold brew over here so I'm looking at my monitor so it's like looking in a mirror but see that how this is cold brew right here um, that's the lip liner that I love to go for so I think this is a little bit more toned down if you don't want something as deep as cold brew this one is a little bit better if you want still more of like a darker brownish shade but you don't want to go as intense as cold brew here actually let me swatch it next to cold brew so you can like really see the difference here I'll show you right here here's cold brew and then here is nutmeg so um, you can see they're kind of like the same family more on like the brown tone side but cold brew is like a little more deep a little more maybe almost cool tone whereas nutmeg has a little more warmth in it nutmeg would be really great for like more medium deeper skin tones versus these two these are like my three go-to's when it comes to like my nudes for my clients I just wanted to share with you guys my favorite lip liners and how I use them and how I think other people would like to use them I don't know if you want to use them that way if you already use these go ahead and let me know if you have any other really good affordable lip liners also let me know because you know, I'm always down to try new things because I have a shopping problem. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Also, don't forget to um, hit the bell. Hit the bell so you get notified when I upload. And let me know what other types of videos you want to see. If you want me to talk about more specific, like one category things, um, like lip products, blushes, bronzers, whatever, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If I don't already have that video, I am more than happy to film it for you guys. And I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!